Good evening. <clears throat> and thank you for participating in the Community Development Block, block Grant Mitigation Advisory Committee meeting today. My name is Kenya Williams with Houston Public Works. The goal of today's meeting is to inform and update you on the flood mitigation projects coming to your area and get any feedback and or questions you may have about these grant funded mitigation projects. <clears throat> Let's talk about community development block grant mitigation, the requirements and the project updates. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you hold all questions until the end of our presentation. We believe many of your questions will be addressed throughout the presentation, and we appreciate your full attention during this time. Rest assured, we have a dedicated Q&A session at the end to address any remaining questions. Here at Houston Public Works, we believe that together, we create a strong foundation for Houston to thrive. There are five service lines at Houston Public Works. Today's meeting is presented by Capital Projects. We deliver large scale reconstruction and new construction projects of Houston Public Works existing roadway, drainage, water and wastewater facilities. We are committed to managing and delivering these critical projects that are maintained and operated by transportation and drainage operations and Houston Water. <clears throat> The Office of Emergency Management's Hazard Mitigation Plan informed the assessment of current and future risk and how to address them with mitigation actions in the development of the city's CDBG MIT Action Plan. The Housing and Community Development, uh, De development Department, with the help of Houston Public Works, identified and described mitigation activities to address the identified needs and submitted the action plan to HUD. And the grant period began in May of 2021 and will end in 2033. Housing and Community Development and Houston Public Works worked with the Mayor's Office of Recovery and Resilience and Sustainability to identify strategies for implementation. Housing and Community Development managed grant setup and will provide administrative support and oversight. Houston Public Works will work with housing and community development in the compliance and implementation of infrastructure mitigation activities. As an advisory committee member, we need you to serve as the conduit between this effort and the communities. Transparency is key to any capital improvement project, and we want your feedback. <clears throat> Cambridge Village Park, Ramblewood. This drainage improvement project in Cambridge Village Park will create 24 acre feet of detention. The detention in the park will be used to support the Storm Action Team drainage project in the Ramblewood neighborhood. Work is expected to begin sometime in 2025 and last until 2027. The neighborhood has experienced st structural flood damages and increased right of way ponding. The project plans for increased storm sewer capacity under Lotus, Buxley, Woodmont, and Brookston streets, and the creation of a detention in Cambridge Village Park. This project will allow for several enhancements to existing park amenities, as well as the development of new recreational areas. And after the project is complete, the park will will retain full recreational use. The overhaul project will allow the community to benefit from additional detention capacity and storm system improvements while maintaining and enhancing a community park site. <clears throat> the Frenchtown drainage and paving project is a rehabilitation project to reduce widespread flooding and provide the highest feasible level of service within the existing right of way constraints. Work will begin sometime in 2026 and end in 2027. The project scope includes installation of trunk lines along Gregg Street to Lynn Street, Ralston Street, and Russell Street, with the remainder of the project to be constructed 
when funding is available. The proposed scope will require detention to mitigate the increased flows and prevent downstream adverse impacts. Above ground detention storage locations have been, in, have been identified and at, a, at an abandoned City of Houston water plant and a planned detention pond on Russell Street. The Melrose Park Section 2 projects includes improvements of conveying stormwater runoff, including ditch regrading and reestablishment to receiving points of the Harris County Flood Control District drainage systems, replacement and resized driver, driveway culverts and asphalt pavement overlay or replacement. Construction will commence in 2027 and end sometime in 2028. The project will provide the design and construction of storm drainage improvements <clears throat> as well as public utilities within the project area, including storm sewer, culverts, asphalt pavement overlay, driveways, and underground utilities. Spellman Detention Basin. This drainage project provides for the construction of stormwater detention basin along the Fondren Diversion Channel. This $14.7 million drainage project started this spring and is anticipated to be completed in the spring of 2025. The contractor is Spring Sand and Clay LLC and the project manager, manager is Lloyd Ma. <clears throat> this project is intended to reduce the risk of future flood losses, including loss of mobility, consistent with disaster relief, long-term recovery, restoration, of the infrastructure, housing, and econo economic revitalization priorities established through the city count through city council and HUD approved disaster recovery action plans. Turkey Gully provides <clears throat> for the design and construction of the storm trunk system to divert flow from Turkey Gully to White Oak Bayou. It includes storm drainage improvements, reconstruction of roadway with water lines and sanitary sewer enhancements. Work will begin in 2026 and end in 2027. A study analyzed local drainage systems in the Shady Acre area and recommended improvements to the local drainage system that could help reduce flooding in Turkey Gully by diverting stormwater flows away from from the gully through the new storm sewers and improving street and surface drainage conditions. It aims to reduce the risk of flooding in the community around Turkey Gully. We encourage you to go to engagehouston.org to view more project details. Click on the Federal Funds and Grants panel and scroll down to the Community Development Block Grant logo. There you will find these projects and more. The project page includes additional exhibits and renderings right at your fingertips. And now a brief demo on how to navigate EngageHouston.org. Welcome everyone to the vibrant world of EngageHouston.org. I'm Ryan, your guide from the Capital Projects Public Engagement Team. And today we're going to learn how to navigate the website. So let's dive in. First, let's unlock the tool of language diversity. Glide your cursor up to the globe in the upper right-hand corner of the page. With the click of a mouse, you have access to multiple languages, ensuring that every visitor feels right at home. Moving along, we arrive at the Attend Virtual Meeting button. Simply click and you're whisked away to our calendar page to see the current events. Just click on the project page link to see what is happening in your neck of the woods. As we journey deeper into the project page for Arlington Heights Subproject 1, a tapestry of information awaits. The project number, location, council district, budget, and more. We can also delve into the project through a detailed description. Should you wish to follow this project's journey, a simple act of subscription is all it takes. Enter your email to receive regular updates to your inbox. Navigate through a labyrinth of impact streets if you should dare. Join us at the live meeting for a first-hand glimpse into the project details. 
for deeper knowledge, an assortment of digital documents awaits. From PowerPoint presentations to traffic control plans, immerse yourself in the project's every facet. Visit the FAQ section for project team contact information. Questions anyone? Our Engage Us tab is here for you to ask any questions you may have. Moving along to the tabs at the top of the page, Home, Projects in My Neighborhood, Active Projects, Completed Projects, Resources, and About Us all await your exploration. And for the explorers looking for specific answers, a keyword search bar is at your disposal. And with this, my fellow constituents and stakeholders, you are now ready to explore the vast expanse of EngageHouston.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Until next time. And now it's Q&A time. This is your chance to connect with us, ask questions, and share your thoughts regarding these exciting projects. We value your input and look forward to your feedback. To submit your question, please follow these easy steps on your screen. Click on the Q&A icon located on the right side. It's the bubble with a question mark. Type your question in the text box and hit send. You can choose to ask your question anonymously if you prefer. We also encourage you to include your name and email address with your questions, especially if they require further research. While we're awaiting your questions, remember that this is just the start of our Q&A process. If you have more questions or comments after tonight's meeting, please visit us at engagehouston.org. Go to the project page, and at the bottom, you can submit your question or comments. We're committed to following up with you. Also, all the materials presented in tonight's meeting will be posted to engage.org for your reference. So let's dive into your questions. Okay, we have a uh, question. When will these projects move out of the design phase? When will these projects move out of the design phase? Anyone from the project team can um, answer their answer for their project. Sure, uh, can, uh, uh, this is Prakash. Uh, Cambridge Village and uh, Cambridge Village Park and Ramblewood the project has been already completed design work. We are doing wetland study. So as soon as it is done, we are moving into construction phase. Thank you. What about now, mm -hmm. Frenchtown? Yeah, Frenchtown project is in design stage. 30% has been completed. I know which is the phase for first phase preliminary phase of the design. We are moving into final phase. Once the final phase is completed, sometime in 2026, we will go into construction. Thank you. Melrose Park section two. Mm -hmm. We are in design stage, 60% completed, moving towards 90%. The project is will be completed in design on 2025. But flood control is building their channel, which is our outfall for the project. The project, so project will, Melrose Park will wait for flood control to build their channel and detention basin. So based on their schedule, we plan to start our project in 2027 with, because Flood control is expected to complete or uh, somewhere uh, halfway into their construction for which is our outfall. Another project, Spellman Detention Basin. The project is already in construction states and we expect to complete this project in spring of 2025. Mm -hmm. Turkey Gully. The project is, this is a drainage uh, project and is in design stage. 
30% has been completed. And uh, once 30% is completed, we'll move into final stage. And we expect to be in construction sometime in 2026. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prakash. <clears throat> For project updates as they become available, be sure to subscribe to each project page, um, at least the ones that you're interested in. And once you subscribe, you just enter your email. And as project updates become available, you will automatically receive those updates via email. OK. That concludes our Q&A session for today. On behalf of Houston Public Works, I would like to give a big thank you to Districts B, C, H, and K, the project team, the public engagement team, and to all of you joining us tonight. Please, let's continue this dialogue about these projects on EngageHouston.org. We look forward to hearing from you. So until next time, have a wonderful night.